G'day guys, welcome back to Glen's Aussie Barbecue. Today we're doing pulled lamb shoulder on the Komodo Joe Classic. Now first of all, let's sort out our lamb. We've got two beautiful Australian, 100% Australian lamb shoulders here. And I was going to use one of my many store-bought rubs that I have in the cupboard. And I thought, no, no, fucking no, Glen. Make yourself a fucking wet rub and do this shit right. So first of all, we're going to flip these over and give these a bit of a smear. I will be adding a link to this rub recipe right around here. And we know that's not gonna fucking work. So check out the video description and in there will be a link to the video that I'm gonna make up of this rub. Now I'll just lightly score the fat. And slap the shit out of it. Now you can do this the night before and leave it in the fridge. I got too drunk last night. So I have to do it this morning. So once this is rubbed, I'm gonna pop it aside on the bench and just let it sit there and really soak up that rub while I set up the Kamado. All right, pop that aside now, we'll go to the Kamado. Now today we're running the Kamado Joe Classic. Now this is leftover charcoal from my last cook and it's actually from my last pizza cook. And uh, don't go throwing that shit out, keep it in there and just add some fresh lump. Also going to be running applewood. Now applewood's a very mild smoke, so I can use a little bit extra. Could I knock the bark off these? Yes. Could I be fucked? No. Chuck in some fresh lump. We are good to go. Using our cheap as shit Azito blowtorch today. Now we don't want to get a raging fire going here. We're only going for 125, 135 Celsius today. So that is more than enough. Divide and conquer rack. Deflect the plates down low. X rack. Drip tray. Dirty grills. Don't judge me. Okay, I'm gonna close down now, open my top and bottom vents. I'm gonna come back and set my vents at around 75 Celsius. We wanna be hitting a target temperature of around 125 to 135 Celsius, anywhere in that range. I am gonna pop a little bit of water in my drip tray. Now that's not to protect the meat today or for high temperatures or anything like that, nothing for moisture. It's to stop that fat dripping down, hitting that alfoil tray and burning because lamb is quite fatty. So I'm just minimizing that. Okay, so I came back and set my vents like I said I would. And as you can see, I'm just a little bit under my target temperature of 125 Celsius. This is a good opportunity to talk about heat soaking and why it's important. You're better off having your temp a little bit under what you want than over. That way, if you do shoot up during the cook, it's not a big deal. So if you bring your temps up slowly, heat soak that ceramic, you'll be less inclined to be chasing temps later on during the cook. So I'm going to put the lamb in now and let it ride. Now we are three hours down here and these are looking great. Beautiful colour on them. I'm going to double wrap these in foil now, chuck them back on the Komodo and raise the temperature up to around 140 Celsius and keep on going until they're probe tender. I don't run an internal temperature probe here, I just like to check them every now and then. But for those who do like to run probes, when I pulled these, these are 205 Fahrenheit, 210 Fahrenheit in different spots, that's 96 to 99 Celsius. Now I didn't get time to rest these because the family were hungry, but I normally would have rested these in the esky for a little while, but tonight I had to pull them hot. So we are five and a half hours down this cook. And I'll tell you what, I just unwrapped this one, probed it, and it was so fucking tender. So let's take them over to the board, pull them up. Oh, that is the shit. Wow. Oh, 
That's amazing. Unbelievable. Lamb shoulder. Get on it. Get on it or get off it. Either way, have a fucking go at that. Have a go at that. Pizza's tomorrow night. Uh. Uh. Hey, get out. The good? Mm -hmm. I can hope it's good. Now the first thing today is, oh fuck. Now first, now first of all we're going to prep our lamb. Now I was going to use a multitude of, oh, fuck me. Now the, now the first thing we are going to, fuck. One of the many store bought, fuck. Oh fuck me. Prep our lamb. Now I was going to use my asshole. Now first of all, fuck, fuck, fuck first, fuck, fuck, fuck. What the fuck is that? Wait for the dog to stop fucking barking. Now what? Now first of all, let's. I was going to use one of the many. St oh my fucking god, kids! Now we're going to score the. F now we want to. Now I'm just going to lightly. Now I'm just going to. Going to. I'm going to. Also going. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate! Same fucking motorcycle. Also going. To, oh fuck! It's purely because lamb is very. It's. Now it's. A, now that's not. Now the point. I brought the tap up. Oh, fuck. Now this is a great point to talk about. Fuck! It's perfect. Oh, for fuck me, fuck. Unbelievable. Can't get the words right. Maybe I should fucking write a script. I'm a little bit, just a little bit under what I want to be at temperature. Fuck me. So you don't have to worry about over. Oh, for fuck. Hang on a minute. Just have fuck. So I'm going to chuck the. So now we're going <laughs> to. So now. <laughs> fuck me. So now we're going to pop. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, so let's get that lamb shoulder in. So let's, all right, so now it's time to get that lamb shoulder in. So, so. Fuck. No, it actually wasn't recording that time. I hit the button. Hit record now. I have. It's recording now. All right, so my wife. I'm sorry. Played a joke on me before at the end of it telling me she wasn't recording and then while doing this one, she said, oh shit, I wasn't re fucking recording, <laughs> and then she actually wasn't. So this is the second one, and I'm going to, uh, uh, yeah, pull this one, but have a fucking look at that. Yep, that's it, yep, yep. Looking for a new wife, looking for a new It's Dino wife. Yeah, you, got, you don't get this. No. You want some? You want some? Fuck off. Oh! It was an accident. Yeah. Oh, but seriously, fuck me. Alright, we're gonna go make some wraps and lamb pizzas tomorrow night, and uh, we'll catch you next time.